Hugo, you guys are right. This is mind over matter stuff. The willpower involved in this. Well, he's gone ahead of Gerard, that's for sure. The 44-second barrier broken easily there. Not easy for him. The shakes have started. No one zones out like Marius. Conan's wheel, crucifix, he's outstanding. Well, this is a piece of ingenious engineering. There are photocell lights that are two inches above and below the forearms of the athlete. So the old days of athletes cheating, going up and down, isn't gonna happen again. You've gotta hold these up, and an imaginary beam of light above and below your forearms. If they drop for two seconds above, or two seconds too low, then the bell goes off, and that's you, your time's up, automatically stopped. Now anything near a minute, would be outrageous. To be honest, this is so heavy, up at 20 kilos per hand, some 45 pounds in each hand, it's gonna be almost impossible to get near that kind of time. Look at you, because you're right, this is mind over matter stuff, the willpower involved in this. No, that's it. The computer kicks in and Hugo Gerard's time gets stopped. He looks to the referee going, hey, what? I haven't lowered it. But yes, you have, Hugo. There's no way you can argue with the photocell timing, and that's the genius of this. It really has revamped this old event. <laughs> in the Yaroslav Dimmick, uh, a little bit of what's known in England as taking the piss, a little bit of cheeky, cheeky joking. Well, cheeky joking it may be, but he's about to do this event as well. Now, Dimmick is a strange character, it's got to be said. There's definitely a small streak of insanity in this man. He just loves pain. Very bizarre. Sometimes he gets into events, and the more he does it, the more he seems smiling and enjoying it. It's, it's an incredible mentality. So he's chasing down the time of Hugo Girard. Girard's 44.16. Look at this, here we go. Here comes the lactic acid. I think it's almost like a high to this man. As the endorphins kick in, it's his only way with dealing with the pain. Well, he's gone ahead of Gerard, that's for sure. The 44 second barrier broken easily there. Well, no, too high, he raised it up. You see the little red arrow going there. Great stuff there though, from the mighty Poland. Jarek Dimek, you are now the new leader, 54 seconds. Yes, I think all these good events for me. We was yesterday, this was semi like this, this, I have the good time. You're very strong in your shoulders, is this shoulder strength? I think so, I think so. Uh, how much was willpower, because you were screaming in the end, does it help to...? Yes, that helped me, because this is the uh, second power from my... My brain, my head. Polish power, yes? Polish power, yeah! Good. Well, Polish power actually in Polish has a slightly different meaning. I'll let you go on the internet and try and find it. Polska Gurung is what you should say. The English version, slightly rude, shall I say. Mariusz Pudzianowski then. Pole number two. Two poles in the top five in the world. Both young men, Pujanovsky, only 26 years old, Dimmick, 29, and in strongman terms, 29, still very young. I can hear you at home going, Mariusz Pujanovsky, only 26? <laughs> Not yet sponsored by Oil of Ule, Marius. This is something else, however. He really is absolutely dominant at these kind of pain events no one zones out like marius conan's wheel crucifix he's outstanding his fitness and his muscles can he beat the minute no he hasn't 59.96 so the closest man yet is adrunas zoviskis biomechanically speaking let's get technical for a second his arms are long. He's a tall man, six foot three, 192. He has long arms. 
this biomechanically not easy for him. The weight's so much further away from his body than a man like Dimmick, who's shorter armed. It's not going to make Zaviskas' job any easier. The shakes have started. And he's still 30 seconds behind Pudzianowski. Well, if he can try and beat the likes of Girard, it'll gain, gain him vital points. 44.16 seconds, Girard's time. He's just gone ahead of that. I don't think he's got much longer. 46.21 for the giant Lithuanian. And Pudzianowski's time starting to look fairly outstanding. And out with the last athlete then. The man who won the previous event. Raymond Spurgmanis. Now, Raymond, believe it or not, when he first came over from weightlifting, had almost no real upper body strength, certainly in terms of world class strongman. If you're talking about being in the gym, Raymond could bench press something like 160 kilos. It's all he could do when he competed at World Strongest Man the first time. Since then, he's built his shoulders, his triceps up, and that'll help for this crucifix. not so much about strength it's just sheer mental willpower who can take the pain and oh that's unlucky he raised that left arm a little too high 43-1-3 so it's behind Gerard and that's kept Gerard closer to the lead but Pudzianowski got some vital points there a maximum of 14 and Gerard only getting eight now remember there was some 10 points between them and Pudzianowski will be pulling herself right back up the leaderboard there yep Gerard managing to stay equal with Zafiskas in first, but Pudzianowski, he's hunting him down.